I'm too old to be carried uh, away with all of these plenty promises and slogans. Your beard, your, your beard shows as much that you're an old man. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen many since 1999. In 1999, we said Obasanjo oh, is coming with experience, you know, a retired military man who has gone to prison. He's since suffering. He told us power failure would be a thing of the past in 200 days. And he got into office. He said he didn't know the problem was this enormous. Uh, and then uh, they spent 16 billion uh, giving us darkness. Atiku was there also. Uh, they succeeded in selling almost all our national assets from uh, Nigerian Airways, uh, Delta Steel Company, Ajakuta Steel Company, you know, Mitak, what do you call it? Uh, iron iron ore, the rolling mills in Kasina, rolling mills in uh, Oshobo and all of that, our shipping line, all of them to date, none is working. Um, and, and, and so, also, um, quickly, um, that government, at the end of the day, came, did theirs, and, and left. Um, Bola met Tinubu, the same thing, in um, 2015, went into an alliance with Strange, Bedfe Be the Strange Bedfellows, went around the country campaigning, telling us that uh, Buhari was the next thing to come, and that he was going to clean the Ojan table and he was going to fight corruption. And Buhari came, instead of hitting the ground running, he was running away from the ground. And now uh, Peter Abi is coming to make the same promises. He would um, uh, turn Nigeria from uh, consumption to production. Uh, for me, I look at the indices. Where has he done it before? He has never done it anywhere. And even in Anambra, he didn't do it. Even when he was globetrotting with uh, uh, Jonathan, he didn't do it. And so uh, co compared with indices on ground, there is basically nothing to show that this is going to be a reality. 